In this video, I'm going to be showing you the secret to smooth animation in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to be showing you all the secrets that all the pros do not show. You. Smooth animation is very important because it can cost your whole video. If you're new here, this is the usual where I give out the sauce. So don't forget to subscribe. And actually, if you want to save time while editing, the first link in the description is all my editing packs where you can save a bunch of time editing. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. All right, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve and I actually have a bunch of assets and icons and all that sort of stuff laid out for my video, but they're all just not animated animated whatsoever so it kind of just looks like something like this and it's very lame nothing's really going on you know standing still no one wants a video that's gonna look like this because this looks doo-doo but anyways I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to spice a video up like this and basically make your animation just look ten times better but before we get into this I will say that my pre animate which is in the first link in the description helps you with all of this so all I'd have to do is simply drag and drop this on one of these icons right here and it animates it down for me and then it animates it up for me now I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to do that, but if you wanna save time while editing, you know, at least 10 to 30 minutes of animations, then go for it and get in this product. It is totally worth it and you're supporting a small creator. Anyways, you need to take every single one of these clips and turn them into compound clips into the position that they are in. It just makes everything a whole lot easier. So first thing I'm gonna do is start off with this compound one. I'm just gonna to go to the Fusion page. Everything will be done in here. Um, under the Media One, we're just gonna add a Transform One and make sure your Inspector tab over here to the right is open. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our frame is or our little red dot right here that you can see is on frame zero um, this is totally preferable but frame zero works the best that's when the clip will start animation up okay so frame zero you're gonna take this Y and go all the way down to where it's off the, the screen hit a keyframe and then go 26 to 25 frames later and do go hit 0.5 to where it goes back to the normal spot before. Now, as you can see, it just animates like that. That is so doo-doo and we're about to spice it up. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the spline. We're gonna check mark transfer one and we're gonna zoom to fit. You guys can even make this bigger if you want, but you know, it's really preferable. We're gonna drag and drop from this corner and hold that and then hit. I mean, this is preferable, but you can uh, double click and hit ease and you have a bunch of animations that you can choose from right here. So I'm gonna do out cubic for the in animation. And as you can see, this is what the animation uh, graph looks like. So we're gonna leave it like that. And then coming over here to the motion blur, we're gonna add that, uncheck the spline. And then um, we're actually gonna add a camera shake and we're gonna turn down all of these deviations because we don't want it shaking that much, you know? So as we can see, boom, shaking way too much though. So overall strength, we'll just turn it down. Boom, like that. Even turn the speed down, honestly. So that's a good that's a good one right there. Animation up. And then right at, right at about 62, we're gonna come back to the transform. Uh, make sure in the controls and then hit the this keyframe again, but then come to the end of the clip and go back down. Okay, so now once you have that, go back to the spline and now you're gonna have a second animation, highlight it, and this one will be a bit different. So you can see we have a curve like this. We're gonna do a different curve. We're just gonna hit S on our keyboard and then just take it like this because when it goes out, it looks best like that, boom. So this is the animation that we're working with here. Goes out, comes in, cool. And guys, that is the secret to animation. Um, now messing with the curves is like totally up to you guys. You have a bunch of different curve options you can use down here. So you can highlight these two clips again and we can do something like that. And then you can get an animation like this. I don't know if you'd want something like that, but you know, the opportunities are endless. So you highlight like this and we can do something like that too. You know, um, let's check out what that looks like. You know, it's really just messing around at the end of the day. So, but this is how I personally like my mind to come in. And um, since this, these are pretty similar, we're just gonna command C these, go back to the edit page, disable this, come back in here, and we're gonna command C and then put them, connect them like that. So that way they come in at the exact same time like that, and then they leave at the same time. So, but if you wanna spice this up a little bit and you want to do do come in one after another, then that's what something we can do. So for this first one, we would just come in here and we would shorten the animation. By doing that, we come to the transform one, come to the spline and you just select these two and just move them closer like so. And then that way, now you can see, boom, boom. And then they go down at the same time. So 
that's how you do that. That's the secret to smooth animation. Um, and then for this one, there's a, you know, you can kind of do the same thing. Um, you could do right, left, up, down. Now that's why pre-animate is honestly the best thing because you could just drag and drop it instead of doing the, all the things that I just did. Um, but anyway, it's totally preferenceable. You know, it's super simple to animate stuff like this and it really does change your whole freaking video. So for instance, I'm about to do this magic mask and then money sign and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So we're gonna come in here, add another transform. We're just gonna come to frame zero and uh, we're gonna start this one all the way over here because that's how I like it, animate it. And we're gonna go about 24 this time, hit this to 0 0.5 and make sure motion blur is toggled on on all of them zoom to fit boom double click ease out cubic cool so now you can see here boom and then this one we can play around with it and maybe even do so for this one we'll do um we'll scroll up we'll do it down animate it frame 24 0.5 Go ahead and hit uh, motion blur. I like to keep the motion blur that it has on it. I just think it personally looks the best that it, it will get. Um, coming here again, just doing that. Going to ease out cubic. Okay, now we have something like this. That's super dope. And then this one would be a lot shorter. So come in here and then this one would be just a simple up animation. So we make this really slow. So this one would come up like it would take a while to come up we'll do like frame like 21 um 0 0.5 and then oh, same stuff it's just repetitive so over and over again so zoom to fit motion blur you know highlight double click ease out cubic that's why the the plugin is very uh good but boom and then i have it to where these fade out um the opacity so when it comes up it does do that and then boom that, I mean, it's as simple as that. Animations is really easy. It's just time consuming, which is exactly why I did create pre-animate. So if you guys wanna create that, um, this is the best way to do animations. You can mess around with the curves, etc. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if this video gets 100 likes, I will do what the top comment says. Peace out guys, have a good day.